What is up everyone, it is George from GeoPCs. Sorry I've not been making any videos recently, I've, my workload's just been up to here and every time I've gone to make a video, I've just not finished the video and it's just been one of those things, so I'm so sorry about that. But I thought hopefully this is one nice easy job to record if anyone's having kind of like a similar issue. Um, so this PC came in today uh, because every time you like loads up a game and plays it for 10 minutes, half an hour, so on and so forth, it basically black screens and crashes. So I'm just going to take it through its pace. I've just already done a Windows update just to see if that's fixed it. Because sometimes it can be something simple as like a software update. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, you know, check the um, NVIDIA drivers and <clears throat> make sure the RAM's working fine. If not, swap the RAM and see, see how it performs then. But I want to make sure I find the issue first that it does it on my side and then look for a fix so yeah let's see how we uh, let's see how we go so uh, again thank you everyone for the subscribers even though i've not been recording any videos people have still been subscribing and following my channel and if you are from the uk you can ship your systems or uh, laptops off to the workshop to get repaired and we can record the video and put it on our YouTube channel or even if you don't want to that's fine we can still repair your products and ship them back to you once they're repaired so um, yeah we've just updated our website so link in the description to our website and uh, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we have also just renewed our Instagram because I could not get back into it because I did two-factor authentication and well I don't have access to all the codes and stuff anymore so I just had to nuke it and start again so make sure you go follow me on there so um, thanks everyone and um, I'm just gonna sort out a few bits and bobs and I'll come back to uh, recording this segment so the first thing I'm doing is basically running a stress test so I'm doing the RAM the CPU and everything so I'm trying to see if Five, six. Hang on a minute. Six. I hope this is more than an eight gigabyte RAM. This is from a company called Audit, so there should be 16 gigs in here per their configuration. It might go above eight. It might just be me. I really hope it's not the CPU. But then again, have you seen this configuration? Like, it's using an A520M keyboard. It's, sorry, it's not the best board for... 3060 Ryzen 5 5500 doesn't really matter, matter about the AIO cooler, but it's only got two dim slots. I mean, in stock, I have a B550. In fact, I've got two of these in stock. This is actually for an upcoming video. I'm upgrading my system from AM4 to AM5, so I'm going for this AMS a little bit little, little, MSI uh, board. Looks very nice. Uh, the Ryzen 5 7600 and I'm actually doing some mods per per one of Josh's um, computers I've just upgraded. It had braided cables in it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for braided cables next. So I've gone for the GOPC black and blue. So, um, oh, meh, mismatch. Like, that's actually the colour, but if I pull it for like something like this, I'd just class it as the GOPC blue. So, um, yeah, so I'm doing that, and then I've also got, I mean, I'm going off topic here with the current video, but content is content, and I've gone for the uh, 16 gigs of DDR5. People are going to go, why have you gone for 16 gigs? Because in the future, I can upgrade to 32. I think that'll stop recording because I've got the iPhone 16, it's got the camera button thing underneath it, and I've just clicked it, and I think it stopped recording, which is a bit crap. But... Why are you going for 16 gigs? Because I can upgrade to 32, I can upgrade to 64, I can upgrade to 128, I can upgrade to 256. It doesn't matter. Like this whole 16 gigs, 32 gigs, this and that. As long as you know what you use your system for, it doesn't matter. Simple. Like I know my, my system now, even though I've got 32 gigs in my current system and I'm down downgrading to 16 gigs, it doesn't matter because I've got higher frequency on the RAM it's DDR5, so it's faster than my current RAM anyway. So it doesn't matter. Plus, my graphics card is a 6900XTX. And I've got the Ryzen 5 7600X. And 
I stand corrected, it's actually 16 gigs of RAM, but for some reason on the system it is show. Oh no, it's gone up now. Typical as I stopped recording. So fair enough, I can nail that one off the uh the thing. I all I can guess is either this is overheating. I'm gonna need to check the wiring. And it's just a bad board. That's all. I'm, I'll, I'll reset the CMOS too, just in case it's got any bad, um, bad caches. So I'll do that. But I think it's the board. I, that's all I can say. If he's playing the games he's playing, the board's going to contribute a lot because it's not going to do the speeds that he wants or what the system's trying to pull. It's a 700 watt power supply in at 80 plus bronze. So I'm going to nail that one out. Like, e.g., it's not like 400 watts is what I'm trying to say. But this, on the other hand, I think it's this. If he can, I mean, that, that is really hot in itself anyway. You can even feel it on the on the rad, but, and that, well, the graphics card's hot. But actually, not even hot, it's just warm. But I think it's this board. And then if he upgrades this board, he's got two RAM. Oh, there you go. Boom, it's black screen as I'm recording. Thank goodness. And it's restarted actually. I think it's overheating. It's either overheating or it's not getting enough power. That's what I think. And I'm not going to ask, what do you guys think? I'm putting in the comment section down below. You know why? Because I probably already fixed the issue by the time I upload the video. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them. I think it's overheating. I'm going to jump into the BIOS and there. Uh, and see what's going on with it but if I, I yeah I think it's overheating that's what I think I guarantee just like on one of my shorts videos they've left a label on the back you know the plastic label slapped it on there called it a day composure it is the GOPC way I don't know this is one of them it's one of them but I will fix it I will is for the AIO, which can easily obviously be moved over to the new the new board. I need to get that off there too. Hopefully you guys can hear the audio a bit better on uh, on this new microphone I've got. I'm still trying to figure out like the best position to pull it in and everything, so I'm sorry if it's not amazing. Um, but I'm doing the best. So we're gonna Get this board, so I don't think this is, oh no, it's alright, it'll do, it'll do the job, and you can tell the difference between these two boards, massively, make sure the pins are okay, something you always, always do, which they are fine and dandy, plot it in, boom, alright, and I'm going to put the mounting brackets back onto this just to hold that on. NVMe SSD. I'm going to obviously install in this top portion. Get this M.2 screw. I would sometimes say if you have like a heat sink for it, put one on, but in this case there isn't, and they're just buying the board, so I'm not going to do any further than what they want. I forgot. Of course I do it so the label is that way and not the fancy side. Have they taken away? Oh yeah they have, okay. I do have better DDR RAM but hang on a minute. You guys can see that how oh, that label's not straight. Also there's another label under there. That one before. I'm going to say, if they gave him, like, 24,000 megahertz RAM, I've got a 32,000 megahertz kit in, I was just going to swap them, but I guess it's absolutely fine. Right, so that's on. I'm just going to put these back on here. If I've got enough of this Corsair um, thermal paste, I'm going to use that one, because I think it's the better one. I do have um, the Arctic one, whatever you call it. I've got the name of it off the top of my head. But... I bought this Corsair one to see, God, it comes off like dust, that's not good, looks very shiny though, looking good, looking good, there's two ways I can do this, which I do sometimes do, which is get the board in first, wire it up, 
and get the IIO in. Sometimes I put the pump on there and it's all in one unit. But I think today with it being a bigger case for an MATX board, I'm going to put this in first and then that in second. So that's what we're going to do. So back over to the other workbench and let's get it installed. <laughs> Now we've got to do the cable management, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that, so I'm just going to do it and come back to you when it's all done. Alright, so I've been running some uh, tests for a little bit. I've uh, done two of these so far with the new board, and it has not crashed yet, so I think we have a success. I think the new thermal paste is there, the board's not, you know, bottlenecking itself, so. Uh, everything's at max settings on here, there's things in the background too just to add to the workload and it is flawless, yeah, it's, it's a lot better, so as far as I'm concerned, repaired, so yeah. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video again, sorry it's probably a long dragged out video and um, long dragged out video and all over the place so I'm sorry about that but thank you guys so much for watching this video uh, I'll be back soon with another video and um, yeah I'll see you later everyone